What's up, everybody? This is... Oh, well, I mean... This is Jamestown. Welcome to Jamestown. This game came out in 2013. It is a cool, pixel art -y, shoot -em up bullet and hell -y thing on Mars, and it's really awesome. We're just going to show it to you. And I am joined today by my brother. Hey, what's up, everybody? And this is actually our second recording of the day, because our first recording of Mega Megabyte Punch, an excellent game, by the way. Don't hate on it. I'm not trying to hate on it, but we had some serious technical problems. So we're trying Jamestown today, and we are very excited about this. I don't think my brother's ever played this. Maybe once or twice. Maybe once. But check it out. So we're going to start off in 1619, November 5th, Chapter 1, East Frontier. It's This is awesome. We're going to start off with... No, we got to go for Legendary. I'm pretty Legendary at this game. Hey, we're starting off with Difficult. Um, we're going to see how it goes. Um, this game is a little tough, you know, most shmups are, but we'll see how it goes. See if we can bump it up later. Are you gonna... There we go. I'm always ready. Only have one shift in the game, but we can get, I believe, at least four by the end of this. So we'll see how long this goes. Here we go. November 5th, 1619, morning. I must admit, nothing could have prepared my old eyes for what now lies before them. This new world was truly a wonder to behold. That's just some really awesome art, all, all, all truth being told. Sadly, I have little time to enjoy the view. Though I have looted my capital to the tower, one long can hope to make past this Jamestown colony that thou very much they have given up the chase. I have pinned my hopes of survival on the mysterious lost colony of Norwich. If I can reduce the solution to such an enduring tragic mystery, I can convince them my heroism and earn amnesty for my crimes. But for now, I make for the battlefields of the eastern frontier. I have no good authority that John Smith himself is to be found there, defending our settlements from the allied Spanish Martian forces. When you can use the, the phrase Spanish slash Martian forces, you can you know this is going to be an excellent game. I pray that you will have some idea of how an entire colony of 117 souls could disappear and leave no trace to mark its passing. The conveyance hums at my side. I fear violence waits for me on the road ahead. Ah. Yeah, his name is R. Yeah, I mean, uh, you would think you'd have more. Oh, in which the settlement is arrived by percentage of Martians loyal to the Spanish. And a villain appears. A villain. Oh, no, not a villain. All right, check it out. Very schmucky. Fire on the British. Uh, nope, we're actually uh, allies with them. Where are we? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, the Spanish and the Spanish and the Martians are allies. Um, so pretty straightforward. Collect the gold to get more points. Kill enemies to get points. Collect the gold to unlock Vaunt, which is a special ability that lets you block a bunch of shots, get a bunch of points, stack up multipliers. It's pretty sweet. Oh, that looks scary. Got the gold. Um, I have on. Yeah. I you, just... Yeah, and, and then you can actually keep it going if you collect gold while you're doing it. Oh, okay. This will be like a pretty sweet knockback on the beam weapon, too. Revive all. Solid. Generally, generally revive all is already... Grab the R, grab the R, grab the R, grab the R. Um, this game has very common bullet hell rules. Um, this isn't really strictly a bullet hell shooter, but... Um, you only get hit if you get hit by the very center of your of your craft. Now that's the thing about Vaughn, like it does sound like a super weapon that you want to like save, but every time you use it, you start stacking up more points, and your weapon is, your weapons get much more powerful. Um, so probably worth it anyway, just to keep it running, even if it's not strictly useful every time you use it. And, you know, obviously you could we could just be staking it for the boss, but you know, whatever. Um, this is a four-player game. Oh, right. We have a special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's free. The special weapons are different for each craft. This, this one is one of the more spectacular of the specials. Oops. Going right back. So they're being very liberal with the revives on this level. Which is nice for the first level. We did we haven't played this game before. Or at least I haven't played it in a very long time. I've played most of it, but it's been a while. Alright, let's make sure we... I need to keep my vault on get school. Oh. Okay. Oh, sounds like a boss. Trader Prince, overmind the Martian rebel forces. Oh, wow. That's uh, that is terrifying to watch. Alright, so some simple patterns right now. Oh, uh, oh, 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 no. Let's see if we can save that revive. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, so phase two, it looks like. Yep, I got killed. Gotcha, damn it. Stay, stay alive, stay alive for eight seconds. Just dodge, just dodge. 
Because if we both die, the game's over. There we go, there we go, there we go, nice. Stay that revive if we can. Probably should have staggered the bond so he could get double shield protection. Oh no. There we go. Sweet! Boss number one is down. So we got at least four stars, which is, you know, not too bad. Could have been worse. Oh, we missed the star. We should, henceforth we shall be known as the credit savers. I guess we didn't spend anything. Um, most gutsy. You're a privateer. Pretty sweet. Local best. I like it. I like it. All right, on to the next one. Seems legit. Uh, 5th, 1619, evening. As we drove back, the last of the allied Spanish Martian forces returned distant battle cries of the smoke and dust behind us. Erupting dramatically from the clouds, we had none other than John Smith, his handsome figure, poe dramatic to propel with his ship. I know, actually, I'll stop being so ridiculous. The dashing entrance came a moment too late to render us any actual assistance, but the man's eagerness and thirst for adventure do much to forgive his lacking punctuality. Having turned the tide of this frontier campaign against the enemy, his spirits were high, and he offered us lodgings for the night. Over a bonfire feast of roast pork and potatoes, Smith drew out a crude map of a place he and his, he and his men called the Dark Sector. Shrouded within foreboding clouds and tempestuous cyclones, he believes this godforsaken place may hold the answers I seek. Our course will take us directly to the territory controlled by the Spanish. The conquistador will, vent, will want vengeance after their losses here today. May some light find us in these dark and forgotten corners of the wilderness. We leave it on. Ah. What if it stands for Team Rocket? I don't think this involves Pokemon. You never know. Bonus level is now available. Excellent. Um, and that has unlocked a new sector for us, the Dark Sector. Um, so we have completed East Frontier on difficult mode. We're going to try to jack that up later. So we have, there's only, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, or five, and then Gauntlet plus bonus levels. Um, levels, but each one is completely different every time you play on a different difficulty. So with that being said, we'll be back next time. Um, we'll do one level each time on um, this playthrough and we'll probably start having a little bit more difficulty next time around um, but thanks for watching and tune in next time see you guys later